The state of insecurity in Kisumu is becoming a national issue now, with leaders adding their voice to the growing chorus of calls for police to tackle the increasing violence in the city. Three prominent Kisumu residents have been murdered in the span of four days. Fred Omulo has the details from Kisumu. In the last four days, Kisumu has witnessed the murder of three prominent residents and so far, no one has been arrested. On the one hand, politicians have been blaming the police of incompetence. We urge the people of Kisumu to remain calm as police carry out investigations into the criminal incidents that have rocked the town in the recent past. We urge them to continue living peacefully and uphold the rule of law. Is it possible that there are elements within the force colluding with the tax? What is happening? The officers, on the other hand, complain of limited resources and the creation of too many divisions without a commensurate deployment of policemen to deal with the spiraling crime. What I know that uh, needs really to be put in place is we really need some. Uh, we need to have sufficient, uh, sufficient equipment in terms of more so in terms of vehicles. The problem has generated so much heat in the lakeside city that local leaders that KTN approached for comments on the issue declined, fearing reprisals from forces they refused to name. As all this transpires, two more gruesome murders took place last evening. Sasi kabidi ni kuja rasha hapa ni kuniona wewe mgonjwa ndio nikapata information. Akaniambia kwamba huyu ndio sasa vile nilikuja tu kijana akaongea, akalisposikia sauti yangu akaongea sasa akalia. Local businessman Fanuel Mara's body was found dumped in a thicket. His farm provided security at the house of researcher Dr. Thomas Odiambo, who was also killed last Saturday. But Deputy Police Spokesman Charles Oweno today warned of severe reprisals against criminal gangs causing insecurity across the country. The security situation in Kisumu is getting worse by the day. Sources within the city say that this is part of a wider scheme to cause fear and eventually voter apathy in the run-up to the next general election. The big question is, who could be behind this? From Kisumu County, I am Fredo Mulo.